no class. Appropriately unhinged as much an everlasting no whimpered into an empty glass as the unrestrained behavior of a Bruins fan drunk in the stands. Follow the blotter published daily, the DUIs of domestic squabbles, that fat bastard over there with nowhere to go but home. What limitless longing sustained by nothing done right, never quite, even in the best of times. Grant that we might behold nothing so trite as the cheap clickability of venture indemnity for a particular loss suffered is no less satisfying than an unclaimed gain. Foolishly getting off on that place where the homes were on wheels and the cars were on blocks. Or weren't it good when the boss made sure each job site had its own portage on? The restraining order you filed to mark our love no further than 500 feet from home, lifted in bad faith against our goodwill. We took it so high in the fucking hog. Celebrity diets, cashews and booze, a place in the sun where it all falls so strangely scattered. Vertical, integrations never had no room, not for you. No more or less inappropriate than an unplugged refrigerator or school in the summertime. And couldn't you just for once wash out your fucking undercarriage? <laughs> Made of marble, they call it a bank. I mean, I seen the seamen standing, idly, taken under by auction hammers. They won't ever make a truck driver blush. Concussed on coming, they say, a quick rap on the head every once and again is good. But funny how. You wanted some curiously acute truth value, and the truth is this. If I knew I was already there, I would take it as I should rather than seek out new ways to circumvent security measures. Our unrestrained behavior is a testament to the absolute strength of the restraints pla placed on us. We need file for nothing, not even divorce, separate and equal as we are, but file it all into an index of our consumption. Like a Brunian link, Commodities have close friends. Besides, who among us are not most themselves under the strictest of circumstances? We would file our teeth into hooks if we could, or place spades on the backs of the dead. Collect our winnings. No sooner did he say, stay gold, pony boy, than some hopelessly doomed meathead was out the door getting those two words tattooed on his knuckles. <laughs> they caught us on all fours a begging master's defiance, each in our way. Guaranteed savings. He said, your distasteful obsession with cash and capital clouds your ability to fully grasp the determinant force of the cultural. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. I remember the one time I met the son of a French antique dealer traveling on the cheap through Laos, on the prowl for good deals. Wincing over a day-old baguette and bowl of curry, he told me he flew with his father to Cuba. He was heartbroken to see the state of the old colonial homes, the furniture. When the government handed over those properties to the peasants, he said they behaved no better than animals. They couldn't begin to grasp or care for the wealth at their disposal. Now it is lost. He seemed like a very specific type of sissy to me, decadent in an all too familiar way. I remember I hated him instantly pontificating, leaning half drunk on the moral force of having not, who, what were you doing there in the first place? Grab a tooth and put it in and now we can repair your grin. To smile in the last instance against the end. Now to find out what's been clogging my drain. He's trying to tell us something. The cage is locked to catch up on inventory. Six cousins, seven stepsisters, eight brothers, nine uncles, and 32 neighbors were accountants. But ever since I was small, I dared to defy and desired instead to become a financial analyst. <laughs> Call it, pal. Clean out the shed. Make your peace. Just don't leave me hanging. Not here. Of all the godforsaken places, not this shithole. Swaddled in the ghostlier incunabula of perverse austerities, the possibility of any imminence shrinks away from a song. Installing so many components on a single device was just too difficult. They were installed in advance, remotely, away from the numbers. Read this before you die. Leave whatever access codes and passwords you can to an heir. These rare corns, first minted in 1850, were melted down when Roosevelt took the country off the gold standard in 1933. They reside now in a pot at the end of history. 
and whether you like it or not, they will be left to an air, floating through this autumn of strange accumulations. <coughs> The elusive functionality of indeterminate value serves its constituents well. Like her aunt, who generously raffled away so much at the Chinese auction, she always took home a king's ransom in overstock. But they don't call them that anymore, these ancient activities in church basements. Holy Mary, Mother of God, what folkways gainsaid for less than the price of an old banjo? The horrifying pitch of this lonesomeness was also always better than wintering in God's waiting room. But for all the men and women that kissed us in the interest of keeping it stupidly simple, and if I had a nickel, not for all of them, but for Jefferson's rugged profile, the mock stoicism of that gaze, to have this between my fingers at all times through the hard times like the world's smallest fiddle. But when the detention center we built flattered itself at the expense of our knowing, we towed the line dutifully like a winch, yanking a bus packed full of bodies out of the sea. We already knew they were dead. Obstructing clots dart into the towering love of my heart. I don't think we're on Sesame Street anymore. I don't think we're anywhere anymore. We have to look for something that grows. Pathogens multiply. What little I have to offer, this simple promise, that the few coping strategies available to us accelerate our passing. I want to feel good and to help you feel good, but who? can get it up in the eyes of this fear. So bring that bottle here, those notes offered up to undisclosed recipients, the whole of the great blue sea, like an immense glory hall, to carry this message. We were never scumbags. Strictly speaking, scumbags were the vessels that kept the message from getting out, products discarded after one good, deserving turn. Only scum could wear white after Labor Day. And if this doesn't belong to anyone. <laughs>